Hey everyone, Depan here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 87 here. Um, before we get into the episode, I just want to let everybody know that I'm going to be at DreamHack, and I did just kind of run out of t ran out of time before DreamHack to get enough episodes out for daily episodes. Uh, and towards the end of the wipe, I might be just slowing down the pace of the play as well. Uh, my goal is still to get to like 100, 125 episodes, somewhere in there by the end of the wipe, and see where we can get to progressional-wise. Uh, max dealers, max hideout, all that kind of stuff and more. But that's the goal. Um, I just, time permitting, unfortunately, Tarkov is the third, you know, the, the thing closest to the thing, the thing closest to the item that I have to cut out of my schedule in order to make enough time for everything else. Um, so, which is unfortunate, but that's how it goes sometimes. And yeah, when I get back from DreamHack, we should have plenty more time to, um, to film more, but I'm, I'm going for a magic tournament. One of my buddies qualified for the regional championship. So we're going to cheer him on. That's about a week trip, so uh, including travel days, uh, and in total, so that that's going to be a take away a lot of time as well. So anyway, just wanted to go over that before we hopped in, and, and as that's the reason why the uh, the videos have uh, slowed down a little bit. Um, and it's towards the end of the wipe, so videos will always slow down towards the end of wipe, um, and that and that likes. Um, but once once we hit the next wipe, it'll be we'll be back to that daily daily episodes because I'm just going to be pumping out episodes because I'm going to be really addicted again because that's generally speaking what wipes do. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, we have a good episode ahead of us. We got some stuff to plan, figure out what we're going to do, and uh, I'll see you in the stash. All right, here we go. Another another YouTube exclusive here. Um, the nice thing I do like about Tarkov is it is easy to sit down for an hour, record an episode, and, uh, you know, I can I can slot that in a lot, a lot easier when I do actually have some spare time. Okay, so we're going to trim our kills. We died. Let's go check our hideout because our, our installation should be done. And then... I kind of want to see what we got Peacekeeper task wise He's our lowest level dealer at the moment, I, th I think. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I am actually getting really excited for Dreamback. This episode should come out before that. I do have a filter, but um, that needs fuel to work, so we're not going to put that in there. Um... Or rather, it works without fuel, but it like it just destroys the filter without really giving anything. Um, I'm getting really excited for DreamHack. It's been a while since I have. Oh, interesting. Huh. I didn't realize we were that close. Uh, chainlets and diaries, and then we do need with that one more manual. We need really one more of this, one more of this, because this actually has a lot of great recipes in the nutritional unit. Hmm. But yeah, it'll be the first convention I've been to in a while. Sorry, finished my train of thought there. Dead fine. Um, I'm not going for the actual convention portion of it. I'm going for the Magic Tournament specifically. And I'm not really sure what a DreamHack is. I've never been to one. Um, I know they host they host big tournaments there. Uh, like I think the Rocket League Championships are going to be on, going on while we're, while we're there. But um, I'm not going for that. I'm go like I said, go for the Magic Tournament. I'm going to try to qualify. There's some last chance qualifiers. I'm not thinking I'm Will. I'm not a super competitive person. But um, like I said, we're going there to cheer my buddy on um who uh actually is qualified the pro tour as well so i'll be going to minneapolis to uh to accompany him for the magic con there uh which is pretty cool so anyway big fun nerdy stuff um and if you're at those places feel free to tweet at me or um shoot me a discord message or something like that um i don't mind meeting up or going out of my way to meet up at the convention um if you're around you know if you're around i'm not going to be doing any like exclusive meetups or anything like that so just just to FYI. Okay. Markers on shoreline, markers on customs. This is really difficult because not too many people have that key. Um, and it's like not even really worth opening, I feel like, because of the 10 use thing. So that's going to be really tough. Um, this one we probably should finish. This is, I think this is going to gate us from something. So I think we should probably try to finish that. Or I think it is gating us from something rather. And I don't think these are gating anything. So why don't we try to do that? Why don't we try to do that? Of course, we have other shoreline stuff to do. Um, find it a 74N grenade kills. I still can't get over that double grenade kill. That's all lighthouse. That's streets. Streets. That's not happening. That's definitely not happening. 15 labs raids in a week. Or survive 15 labs raids. That's like doable in a week. Let's check the other dailies here. Emercom on interchange. That's a, that's doable. That's doable. 
Um, I'll accept that. See if like it would really we have high incentive to do the do the thing. Not really. Just leveling up mechanics like stuff there. Other than that, what, what do we got here? I think I have a Cordera. I do. It's worth some bags. Oh, it gives you it gives you straight up gifts of even back too. That's kind of fun. Okay, we'll just wear that. And then I think I'm gonna use, go use that um, that trade that was highlighted there for the shotgun. That was the, I think that's gonna be the plan here. Yeah, this guy. I, we'll probably need elites for something, but um, this this is fine enough for getting headshots with, uh, especially if yeah, it's nighttime. So did a little scouting before the episode. It is nighttime, so. We'll want a flashlight. We'll, you know, we'll want all this. I think we're going to save that. I almost want to save the choke. I'm just not sure if we're going to get that test. I think we're going to leave the choke on there. But yeah, we'll 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 do that. And then um, modding. So I could swap. I could go trade for uh, the other shotgun, like a bigger shotgun, and swap this to the four rounder. I think I'm going to do that. Because I think we have this barter as well. Yep. I was looking at shotguns before this. Because then what we can do is... When we need the semi-automatic, when we need the bigger amounts, we can do that. But this is for killing scavs with headshots. This is going to be more for killing players. As well as we don't have a sprut yet. Or at the moment. So I really want to have a flashlight for nighttime. I think is the other main thing here. I think I'm just going to use 7 mil. I don't think there's any real reason to not... I don't think I even have any slugs anyway. And we'll just load that in raid. Uh, okay. And then this goes away. We get our key tool out wherever I put that. There it is. Uh, I think I'd rather have splints. I think I'd rather wear that as well. Oops, that can go away. Let's put this here. Four, six... I know that's not full durability, but I think we'll be okay with that. And then I think we do maybe want a long-term painkiller there. Got plenty of morphine. I don't really have any grenades here. Okay, so we're looking for fuel. I guess I need to get some armor on as well. Like this this black, black rock rig maybe changing. Let's go see what barters we have armor-wise here. Because we can, we can wear an armor rig for this, no problem. Yeah, like I have this one. I have this one as well. Now that we have that Cordera back. Condensed milk there. Oh, I technically have that as well, huh? I'm just gonna grab one of these real quick. I know that, that oh it was Ripstop versus Cordera anyway. Perfect. That's actually like really good for us. We'll just wear that. We don't need like infinite looting space here. We just need to get some scav headshot kills. And once we get scav headshot kills, um, I would also like to potentially go mark the marked room. But only after we get the scav headshot kills, I think is the idea there. Those are for interchange. We could do... I, I, think, I, I think I do want contacts if we have them. We do. Okay. Let's just put on some mediocre contacts. And do I have a face covering? Because I think it, for a little while there, I was saving face coverings. I was. We need to trade for... We need to keep masks. For sure. This will make our head a little less shiny. Which is good. Alright, good stuff. Uh, I will... See y'all, right? Alright, here we are. Uh, hmm. This is prime... <laughs> this is unfortunately prime uh, cultist time. It is later in the wipe, so we may just die here to cultists. That's okay, though. What are you gonna do? Now, they said there was a patch this morning, and they said they fixed a lot of, like, glare issues on interchange. So I'm actually kind of curious about interchange as well.
with the flashlights. So maybe we'll have to go to a nighttime interchange raid. Let's see what the fla flashlight tries. So the, the cultists like to prone in those bushes. <clears throat> I've only seen them there like twice since they've been added, you know? So, unlikely, but. It is a thing. It is a thing. Player over there. Excuse me. Oh, 56A1 is good. Oh, also, a full stack of 60. Scav spawn over here by the truck. You know, un, uh, unexcitingly, ca I call them truck scavs. <laughs> they do wander quite a bit more than they used to. It's not bad. Also not terrible. And not terrible. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead over to the sniper scavs. Which I'd rather get the scab kill than the, like, go for the guaranteed headshot. And the choke, I think, helps a little. I don't know if the choke actually changes the, the pellet spread or not. I genuinely don't know. I do know for, like, a budget option, though, this choke on here, for all the stats it gives, is very, very good. It's so, like, this choke on, a, on the semi-automatic version of this... It's like just a superb budget gun with seven mil, not eight. Not I know everybody loves their eight point five mil, and I know it's really good because it gives you a chance to leg meta somebody. But seven mil is so good at getting headshots, and your gun's not like blocking your entire view. There's always a chance somebody killed these on their way into a uh, resort. I don't remember what my other gunsmith is. Not bad. I think it might be a 74N as well. It's up top there. I'm trying to think where we are going to go from here. Probably over to Radar. It's weird that there's no scavs up there, but eh, it's not unheard of. Could obviously go into Resort, but get plenty of scavs there, but I just, it's just not worth the time. About a semi-automatic, maybe, but even then... We have such limited resources because of the hardcore. It's just, it's tough to do. But if we hop over here, go to Radar Tower, we can also, like, shoot up the coast to construction, hit caches on our way, all that good stuff and more. And hopefully not run into anybody else doing the same thing. It's a Tuesday before, uh, before DreamHack weekend, so the fourth here. Shouldn't have too much. And an update did just come out, which may may actually bring players back. You know, sometimes when there's an update, it, you get like a little burst of like new like players checking out what they did. There's just a bunch of bug fixes and like lighting changes. Um, all good things though. From what I read, if they're truly fixed, they were all really good things to get done. So. Find or what we find in these. The handle. <laughs> all, right, all junk. All junk in that one, at least. I'm pretty sure that um, wash bowl can spawn stuff. I think it's like food. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Nice little shotgun grip on here. Don't need it, but... Makes you look tactical. They kind of need it. The uh, the grips, like the ergo on the shotguns, helped you with like your your pump action time. Uh, it's pretty quick, obviously. It's very it's very very quick. But it'd be cooler if it if it made you more like a speed loader or whatever speed speed shooter. The more ergo you had on it, it'd be kind of neat. Make it more viable. I don't know. Pump shotguns are like one of the few guns I have shot. You, you can you can go pretty quick on them. You can go pretty quick on them, especially if they're kitted out, which I've not done that, but like I've seen videos of that. But I can see how that could be done, you know. All right. Well, we're hoping that nobody killed all the scavs here. Probably gonna loot it fully too. But we're also hoping that like the goons aren't up. I don't think there's any way we're taking on the goons here. There's a lot of small percentage event chances that can just really screw you over. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Like, like bumping into Tagilla in a Factory a couple raids ago, where it's just like, alright, got the players dead, good. I got a pretty seemingly clean, uh, clean chance of getting out of, uh, Gate 3. <laughs> Tagilla's just sitting there, no. <laughs> this, is, this is my Factory, you can't do that. That's what I heard. But it may have been. All right. I think that'll be one. This guy have a spread on his? No, nah, unfortunately not. I'll take a little squash. I thought I heard something to my left there coming into the house. So, certainly possible. Oops. I didn't know that. I guess it's nearly full. It may have been this scav that I heard. But I think it's unlikely. The nice thing is the scav in here does kind of mean... Probably not too much up here. Uh, how much do I want this AKM? Not really that badly. It's fine, but we have a bunch of barters for them, like, saved up. And it's, like, smaller to keep that in my hideout than it is the other ways. The shotguns we don't have a bunch of barters for saved up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good as well. Probably good on those. Of course, we could always wear the half mask instead of... Ah, uh, the ghost balaclava. But... Alright, check the final cabinets. I probably should grab those. I definitely need those. We're very, actually very close. I don't think we need that, really. Or that, to be honest. This puts us very close to being on the grass and blue fuel, which will be a big deal. Okay. Let's see what else we get here. T plug. Probably don't need that. Probably don't need the ram either. I think the ram has a barter, but uh, sure, we'll take some bolts. Take some of the bolts. 
probably gonna eat the squash this raid. Uh, those are good. Oops. Okay, I think I paused in time for the sneeze. <laughs> Make sure it's recording, though. I don't have chat here to remind me. Okay. I want to hit this med bag. Uh, these two trade for armors. Which is nice. I kind of want that as well. I don't know how badly we need I think you need a lot of PSUs for the... Um, or we're going to need a lot of PSUs for the... Bitcoin farm, right? That's really about it. There used to be a there used to be a joke that those big containers always had less than the small containers. Like the bigger the actual physical container was. Oh wow, suppressor for that AKM that we dropped. That actually might be worth going back for or grabbing. Hmm. Yeah, that actually saves us enough room, I think. Uh, we'll get rid of that. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Because then we get the mag slot and the suppressor slot. Yeah, that's worth it. And suppress, you know, suppress weapons being very, very good for nighttime raids and, and such. All right, let's go hop over to Heps. Well, we did hear some shooting over there, but hopefully whoever was there has left. And some other scavs spawned in. for that yet. Excuse me. After we do this, um, hopefully we get all the scabs this raid, but after, after we do this, I went the wrong way. Um, I, do, I am kind of tempted to check on Interchange because if they really did fix the flashlight lighting issue, I see this is still bad on this map, so I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Because that would make interchange a lot more interesting with a with a real flash, you know, a decent flashlight. It was technically trade for fuel as well. If you get enough of them. Well, you know what? I think that might have been what I heard. So I take my gun out again. It um, plays a sound on the left hand side. Not seeing any sniper scabs up. Remember, we did hear some shooting over here, so. Chances is like everybody's dead, it's all been looted. Oh, we have a uh, old right from uh, nutrition. No, rest base three gives you 110. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the buff, which is pretty neat. thought that was somebody right there, <laughs> the way it was moving. Jeez. Two on edge, two on edge. Uh, I think I want bolts over that, because I would, I would like to craft another mag box, I think, at some point. I don't think we need that right now. 
key spawn on that chair. It's one of the resort keys. I don't remember which one. Okay, check the jackets. Empty, empty. I'm gonna... Maybe we should go see if this has been opened. Worth good money. And I would like that as well. Gonna go DVD here. Trades for a backpack, but these are the the calyx, and then um, oh, I do want the nuts as well. Those are the calyx bees, and then uh, the olive is just worth way more. Okay, nobody looted in here. Good. Of course, after we need, after we found what we needed, we're gonna start getting the good stuff. Yeah, like that's absurd. I almost want to put that on there <laughs> instead of the the suppressor. I think we're gonna get rid of this PSU. Don't think we're gonna have time to get to that. Jesus. Um, no, that's definitely not good. This thing is one of my favorite stocks just by looks. Like, this thing's great. Level straight up level three armor. Uh, oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit that armor because it doesn't hold. It, it holds less than it takes up, so we have to get rid of two slots to make it work. I guess if we do this, it's a great throwaway armor. That's what it, it's. You know, that's what it comes down to. All right, we'll do that then. Yeah, this thing's great. Look at the great stats. This thing lets you kid out of PP19. Like, it's nice. It's nice. So we don't need to reload into anything. Oh, and a mini. And a Lay's tack. I think this is the, the, the thing that I needed. All right, we're definitely going to grab that. I'm almost positive that's the uh, one of the things we could have used for the Magpul. Classic. Porter ship's great. BS rounds are great. Let's go ahead and drink that. Yeah, not that I really need a uh, thing. Well, there you go. Heps is great after after you stop looting it for the thing that you need. Classic. Alright, I think I'm heading out... And then down that way. We're not gonna. We're, I, I, we could go cultist territory for bus depot area, all that stuff, and more. I guess it's. Uh, I see a little red on the horizon, so I guess it's not full night time. We're gonna go gas station here, I think. Gas station pier area. And then shoot up the coast. You can always rejoin the raid, right? Reset everything. We are kind of filled up, so... I'm not gonna be too aggressive on this on this side of things. I don't see any, I don't see any scavs wandering about. Oh, there's some. Okay. Okay. Now that I know there's a guarantee, I might go uh, hop over there. headshot kill because it's really hard to get a headshot kill from that range with buckshot but you know gotta try I guess but before it just wasn't worth going over because there's, there's no guarantee right no guarantee that there's scavs still up or scavs around Backside of the BP tanker. 
They have a helmet on. Classic. Leveling up our shotgun skill, at least. <laughs> We're really hard to get a headshot on somebody with a uh, helmet on. I don't think they go inside the gas station, but they might. Oh, they do. Okay. I don't know if that counted or not. They had armor on as well, so... It may have. Oh, better stock. This is such a silly thing to change out. <laughs> but it makes your gun look cooler. And it's better. Okay. No longer need the scav vests. Yet. They rock in PS. Nah, T45. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to skip the safe and all that. There's nothing we really need from safes here. Just heard rotation. Yep. What the? Not what I meant to do. Just making sure. Make. That was a little that one was a little risky. We should be almost done there though. Yeah, one more. I think we've gotten headshots on just about everything. So I thought the nighttime scouts are supposed to supposed to have better loot. What the heck? A bunch of PST though. Of course I got rid of the other stack, but I, I mean that's okay. Sunk cost fallacy or whatever. Get rid of all these. Uh, probably do that and then just replace that there. 36. Trade that for three more shells, you know. What do you have, my friend? Okay. Well, I like the clash. And they also have that uh, that mount there as well, which is quite good. Oh, this is a player scav. Oh. Interesting. I, I actually, they played very much like a proper scav. Okay. My bad. I've been friendly. I guess they didn't want to avoid. Maybe they talked in an attempt to, like... Identify that they were a scav, you know. Oh well, we need scav headshot kills, so it's like not not a you know not a big thing. Maybe I wouldn't have been friendly. Looks like they came from the other side of the map, like the uh, the hillside there. Oh, I should have brought my markers. I guess I brought a marker, so we can replace this one real quick. I did forget that we had to do all of these as well. I'm going to see if this has been looted real quick. By just checking the safes and stuff up here. Not looted. Okay. Alright, well I definitely want that. I would like that flash drive. Alright, realistically, I'm not going to be able to use that. The only unfortunate part about that stock is that it's it's a buffer tube in addition to um, the stock. 
so you don't get those extra benefits from, from running a random better buffer tube. Oh, I really need that. Huh. Do I really need that? I don't know if I really need that. I really want that. Let's let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and drink that. We'll do that. That seems right. I think I have enough to install Intel higher up. And I guess we need diaries more than we need the boulders. But even still, they still they sell reasonably well, you know. They're not unsellable. Um, what do we need for biolink cabinets? I, I, I'm trying to remember what like what we need. Keys, labs cards. I think they have a small chance of spawning in in these. We need that last time and raid one. Um, mostly just mostly just shoreline keys, or whatever that is. Three, two, one. West wing safe key. It's okay. It's not like a, I gotta get out of this raid right now key, but it's fine. It'll fit into here totally fine. It's just, a, it's just a part of the resort I hardly ever go to. I don't know if the um, the orange sodium spawns in the drawers. I don't think it does. That sells well. I think I'm keeping that doesn't sell well. That's better for... Not really. Oh, this gets weird with the placing. Okay. Do the skier thing real quick. Um, I'm gonna check here. One, there might be some scavs up back here. But also... We might be able to just leave. Boulder of Intel and, like, all the money we have on, on us I think is worth. Because if we can get Stash 3 going, that would be good. But you know what? It's also just sometimes not available. So, gotta go get our test done anyway. Level up that stamina. And again, I've said this in the past few episodes, especially the ones where I'm not, like, live uh, on Twitch. But I'm already getting excited for next season. And, like, maybe thinking of some, like, more custom rules... That are not the classic hardcore one and done. You know, more long term. Fits the playthrough, fits the style. Style of uh, rules. Uh, for next season, you know? Because we did have that one season where I uh, paid for scab runs, and that was less. It was less that I made. Because I didn't make money from the scab runs, because making money in hardcore is kind of pointless. There's more, you did get a lot of free stuff, which was cool. Um, but they had a real cost. But they gave, they gave use to the dollar amount, like USD. Um, which I really like that. That's a big, that's a big hole in the hardcore playthrough. Like a lot of stuff just fits naturally. But having a use for US dollars is fun. So like paying like a thousand dollars to run a scav seems cool for all the reward items that you get. Um, Maybe maybe a little less than that. I think it was. I forget how much I ended up. Paying. I think it was whatever equivalent of a hundred thousand dollars was, or hundred thousand rubles was, is what I ended up paying per scav run. Um, and then that would let me do some of the scav quests from fence, which I think are just cool. Honestly, I think those are just neat, a part of the game that we don't get to experience because um, we're playing hardcore. Um. And the course of the hardcore being the idea that you don't get anything for free and you don't get like this major bump up and you're always on your main character. 
but I think having like, and we've I've had other gated systems in the past, where like unlocking Intel. Oh, there's a scab up ahead. Okay, cool. Let's get them. It's honestly easier when they get to cover. But having other gated systems, uh, so like unlocking the scav box, let me do scav runs. It's a very hard thing to get unlocked in the hideout, especially in hardcore. It's like this like, this long term goal. Um, Intel level uh, two or something like that. Let me unlock insurance. That's too powerful. I, I stopped doing that because it, it played too powerfully. But that was that's, that's just an example. Um, after eight healing, after you get um, med station one, you know stuff like that. The problem with that one was that the reason. The reason we have after raid healing um, enabled for when you die is just so you can get back into raid faster. You know, it really sucks sitting in your hideout. It really sucks sitting in your hideout when you have like a, a heavy bleed and you can't do anything. That like that sucks. That really sucks. Well, there's a scab there. But, uh, so that's the reason for that rule. So, like, it's like a mixture of, like, I really want to play this harder, grindier station, but, like, to what degree, right? So, I don't know. Just a lot of interesting thoughts. I'm just, I'm trying to think of something interesting and unique to do for next wipe. Because we get... I'm only doing these playthroughs. So I have time to, like, expand on this idea of, like, your main character playthrough. Gonna wait for them to stir up and come back to me. Guess I could rush this guy. I don't know where this a. Hey, oh, there he is. What on the? They really do play a little defensive these days. As thought, this one's hurt. Jeez Louise. That second shot looked great, I'm just saying. Alright, that, that task is done now, though. That's good. We're a little hurt here, gotta heal up. Is it T45M? Yeah. Oops. Okay, now we can kill this guy, this guy with anything. I think they have a level 4 armor on as well. So we gotta swap this level 3 for, the, for their level 4. So, get this loaded up. And I'm unfortunately out of markers. Top ups. Да ничего, скупчику все продам и Okay. Took a little effort there, but we got there. Harder with a flashlight when you can't see their head. Oh, they had an AKM on as well. Okay. Wasn't expecting the full AK. But I guess it makes sense. Uh, they did not have what I thought they had on. The TB10 had me confused there. Although that aluminum's not terrible. Uh, Alright. We'll hit this one cache here because I, I neglected to do so earlier. And we're so close. And then we'll just... We'll beeline to the other two caches and head out. Just a ball cap. Very... Likely it's been looted already. But. Uh. 
Oh, excuse me. Also, as as so, speaking of next season already, I, again, I know I'm, my my brain's just kind of obsessed with next season already. It's like already getting really excited for it. Um, I took off a wipe coming into this season, so there's a lot of rust to shake off going into next season. I think we're gonna get a much better kickstart for a couple reasons. One, my audio won't be messed up for the first like 20 hours of play. I really felt like I was like super defective there in Tarkov. Um, uh, two, a lot of things have changed early game that I wasn't aware of. Like the ammo box is a really good example of that. That's more mid game, but like the ammo box is a really good example of that. I know now I got to prioritize that really highly because that took up normally that was a thing that we could alleviate very quickly and in this season it's not it has not been um so something we need to focus on more early next time um all the all the key locations have spawned or uh, spawns have changed i don't know if they're gonna be able to see me i think i'm just gonna skip them get to these caches and leave them be. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. Um, caches are still super powerful. I feel like in the past I've done Jaeger tasks super super quickly, and this this time I've just been, I struggled with all the Jaeger tasks. But again, that comes with shaking up rust as well. Like, there's been many times in past hardcores, that's a lion, huh? And a loot lord. I, I do need that for the scav... Thing. So what if I got rid of you? You. You. I definitely need the manual. Um, probably for to get rid of one of the screws. Gonna eat that. And that's our lion. Yeah, that'll be good for the case. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's been there's been there's been hardcores in the past where I've like I've gotten the office kills and the tremor kills done super fast. But also that was you know when I was playing hardcore at the end of a wipe, so like the start was easier. It's easier to hold more items, grind out that kind of stuff a little bit better, you know. Okay. All right, nothing worthwhile. Let's hop out here. But yeah, it'll be interesting. It's just prior knowledge because they've changed a lot in this wipe. GG's, pretty good raid. Pretty good raid. We got our shotgun kills. We'll see what that unlocks. I think that uh, I think that unlocks was it spot part part two. I think there's a couple more spot tours. Yeah, there's 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 a couple more that go through there. Um, ah, this one was this was a thorax. I see. Okay, that makes sense count wise. Scab names get me every time, man. Okay. But, uh, yeah. That, that'll be be interesting to see the progression. Because it'll be different next time. It'll be different next time for sure. We'll have to think about what maps we're going to do as well. I'm, I'm more familiar with Straits now. And Straits is a very powerful map to start with, I think. I just don't like Straits. I know I've said that a few times. But I just the, the layout of it, the building fighting, it's very busy. Um... I'm I'm definitely a wood shoreline kind of person. I you know even in all FPS games, I, I always prefer the big spread out maps to the to the tight, you know, close quarters maps usually. So just gives me I think it gives me more of an advantage. Okay, let's see if this was the it was yeah. So this was this was the exact lock I needed <laughs> to get stuff going there. Man, that's wild. That is absolutely wild. I mean, it's good to get. Hey, we still need it. It's just... <laughs> Come on, you know. Uh, what do you do? You don't trade for anything. So once we have enough for our hideout, I guess we don't really need that. Love that mini suppressor. It's my absolute favorite. That's not for the uh, library, which is cool. So we just need diaries for that. Something I probably should have saved. This is a pistol that can have a flashlight. That said, nah, I think I'd rather have 
like just barter for a Glock, put a flashlight, even a Glock with a red dot. I think I'd rather do that. I think, uh, yeah, or we just also just straight up have a Glock as well. Okay, that's Comtax. This is a really powerful muzzle break. This is money. What do you do again? Thick item case. That's not happening. I don't think I need any more of those for tasks. That goes into there. That goes into there. That goes into there. We gotta go check to see if I can... Um, man, I, I thought I saved way more than this to sell, though. Well, I guess not. I gotta go check to see... Excuse me. If... We have enough to craft fuel, or what our fuel count is. They changed the price of the all, huh? Used to be 24. Okay, Ragman for that. Got to do that to fence, unfortunately. It is only 16, but... Oh, well. You sell those to Peacekeeper, by the way, if you're playing normally. Uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta fix the gun before I can sell it. Repair. No. Cost me 3000 to repair it? Oh, I got actually more than I thought I was gonna get for that. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get exactly 3000 back. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, definitely a lot more spot tours to go. Well, that gives you the 306 as well, huh? Yeah, interesting. Screw Oh! Yeah, this gives you a Bitcoin, which is nice. Um, gets us closer to that junk. Uh, you do need this for a task. I do. It's actually my favorite SMG, or one of my favorite SMGs, or close to my favorite SMG. It's, it's really solid. Get myself over. So, like, this money's useless. You see. So, like, giving that some use later on, I think it's kind of fun. Okay, I gotta make some room for that. Oh, could have done that there. Nope, nope, couldn't have done that there. Oh, this didn't move. Interesting. But yeah, there's one we have to put, like, the... Uh... Oh, no, you have to put the other... A different thing on there so actually we can use this one we can use this one. we can we can barter for the other for the other one if we want to uh, i think i'm saving the suppressor and the mag and we're ditching the ditching the ak i think that's what's happening here uh and then, yeah, that there, man, I don't even know where to put all this junk, uh, so that can go there, RFB can go there, give us a little room to sell this AK. I'll take that. Take that with a repair. Take that with a repair. Okay, I think it's still loosely nighttime. Oh no, not definitely not nighttime. Okay. Um, which is interesting. I guess the question then is where are we going? What are we doing I guess spot for spot tour part two I wish I had a trade for the uh yeah I really wish I had a trade for the uh the pack armor you know and yeah, there's one on my inventory so we have we have two All right, let's go see how close we are to uh, crafting crafting fuel here. We'll go from there. This fuel lets us do a few things. I think we're actually... We, well, we found the generator stuff without the fuel, so I don't know. How close are we? 
two away. Okay. Um, we also have this for the uh, the six P forty sevens, but again, we need this. We need this sodium for nutrition level three. Although I don't think nutrition three gates anything. I would like to have it though, just just for. Completionist's sake, I guess you could say. And what are these guys locked behind? Like, what are you? What are you gated behind? Intel level two, which is nutri. Oh, this. So Intel level two is the gated behind it. Got it. Okay. Okay. But we need the Lenex for this anyway. Which, uh, thank you for whoever pointed out in the comments. Um, the Lenex craft is now gated behind piece uh, Lightkeeper tasks apparently. Um, so that's good to know. Not even close on that then. So then we'll probably use our first Lenex to get the thick item case instead of the med station. Although it does gate the Intel level two, which I guess Intel level two is what's gating us from Bitcoin. Yeah. Which this used to be like the fundamental resource gathering when Bitcoin's traded for everything. They don't trade for everything now, so it's like it's like such less of a needed thing. The hell is that? Far forward current giver. I've never seen that in game. Okay. Must be new. 25,000 euros as well. It's a bit of a grind. This would be a good one, though. This would be a good one. Again, we're basically just got to get the 5 million rubles, give or take, like 4.7 4. million. We're, we're, we're very close to that. And we can get that installing, which would be a, which be a, would be a big uh, big win. That'll be something for after, after Dream Hack, I think. Okay. Uh, huh. I like doing that. I like doing this. I want to do, I want to go somewhere where we can maybe get a half mass so we can go to interchange to try to double up on some kills with the pack armor and such. And I try to get some sodiums. Because I do think that'll be interesting. Uh, you know what we can craft? Let's, cra let's get another mag box crafting here. Yeah. Because we can take one of these out. And that'll let us get another mag box going, I think. Yeah. Because I was saving the nuts and bolts for other stuff, but this is this is important to get done. All right, good. So, YouTube. That's what, I'm going to call that an episode. I'm going to call that an episode. It's about an hour long there. We got a lot of stuff done there. Went over some things. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to I have time to get to another episode. So, there's going to be two, I think, while I'm at DreamHack. I think I'm going to let... I'm going to release them on, like... Thursday, Sunday. That's the current plan. So, like I said, once I get back from DreamHack, we'll have um, have many more to come. I'll have, a, I'll have a day to dedicate to streaming Tarkov uh, and that and that uh, and the like. There, at some point, we're gonna we're gonna have to call it, you know call it a season. Um, but for now, I just I want to keep I want to keep progressing, see how far we can go. I would love to get Epsilon. Epsilon's usually my big goal. Um, which is it's just a my big tough like PVP goal, and then like maxed hideout is like the tough looting goal um and then epsilon of course being really good for just for all the pvp stuff for sure so but anyway thanks so much for tuning in thanks for all the sub uh sub support thanks for understanding that the episodes are a little little thinner while i while i'm so busy um again not for lack of wanting to play just for lack of time that's you know that's life right that's life but uh yeah thanks for tuning in uh, like i said if you're gonna be a dream hack this episode's probably gonna come out either this episode might be coming out the Saturday of DreamHack. So if you are around in that area or we're planning on going and you watch this before you head to the convention or whatever, uh, reach out. Um, I'll be at the I'll be I'll be in the Magic Tournament area. I'll be playing a couple Magic tournaments uh, on f all day Friday. Um, but uh, yeah, in general, I'll, I'll be around. So just reach out. We'll, we'll you know we can schedule a time there if you want to if you want to meet up. If not, no worries. Or if you're not in the area, no worries. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, I will, uh, see you all in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.